So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another League SBC player review. Tonight here released the Dutch League League SBC and the rewards for it are actually um, two pretty good items. We've got this French forward, uh, Bahiebeck, who looks like pretty incredible to be honest. He's got some really um, insane card attributes, really good pace, dribbling, shooting and physicals. And we also got um, a Dutch midfielder as well who looks pretty, pretty insane. He's got some really good pace, dribbling. Um, passing and physical stats, everything apart from his defending looks quite incredible. So that card looks absolutely outstanding as well. In this video today, we're going to focus on the French forward. But if you want to see a review on the Dutch midfielder, make sure you leave a like rating on this video and let me know in the comments. And I will try and get that video out for you guys if you want to see it. But uh, like I say, in this video today, we're going to focus on the French forward because uh, he looks like a pretty good player. And let's be honest, we don't have enough good French forwards in FIFA 20 already, do we? So... Uh, yeah, be interesting to see how this item compares to all the other French attackers in FIFA 20. Anyway guys, before we move on, if you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be muchly appreciated. In the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts on this item and also let me know which other players you want to see me review. Are you going to complete the uh, Dutch League uh, League SBC? Let me know all that good stuff in the comments. And of course, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button too. Okay, so this is the team we're going to be using him in. We're going to be playing in the 4-2-3-1 uh, for the first half of games. And then in the second half, we're going to try him in the 4-1-2-1-2 with a striker partner up top with him. So, let's have a look at this guy's card then, shall we? Got a 4-star weak foot, which is pretty good. And also 3-star skill moves. Medium low air crits aren't ideal for a striker, but hopefully they don't affect him too badly in a negative way in game. But obviously we'll have to wait until we've played some games to uh, find out a bit more about that. His pace stats look pretty solid, so pretty happy with them. And he's also got some really nice uh, shooting attributes as well. He's got 86 finishing, 92 shot power, and 86 long shots. But... His attack positioning rating of 78 really isn't all that ideal, nor is his composure of 80. Now, 80 composure obviously isn't bad, but at this stage of the game, there are so many forwards who have much better um, composure, and it's a pretty key stat in FIFA 20, in my opinion. The guy's passing stats actually are pretty solid, to be honest. If he didn't have that 62 long passing rating, his overall passing rating would be much higher. Um, he's got an 83 crossing rating, 83 short passing, and 82 kev. So short passing, in theory, should be very good. The dribbling department is pretty solid as well. He's got a 93 um, agility stat, 82 bounds, 91 reactions, 93 ball control, and a huge 96 in-game dribbling rating, which is absolutely mad, to be honest. On the ball, this guy should, in theory, feel great. Uh, the physical stats are also pretty solid. This card, on theory, in theory, does look really good. Um, 83 jumping, 80 stamina, 80 strength, and 83 aggression to round off his attributes. Um, overall, I think this card actually looks really impressive, so definitely interested to uh, see how we get on with this card. There's a couple of things I'm not too confident in. His attack positioning and wear crits don't look like they'll be a good combination, so a bit worried about that. And also his composure isn't ideal. And that's why I've actually chosen to go with a sniper chem style on this guy. I'm fully aware a dead eye chem style would obviously help out with both his shooting and passing. But I just went sniper because I wanted to boost that composure as much as I possibly could. And the sniper chem is the best to do that with. So that's why I'm opting for that chem style over others. But I also think a basic chem style would be good enough for a card like this. Because it helps give just little boosts into all the areas. In the comments below, let me know what chem style you'd use on this item. Anyway, I've spoken for long enough, let's get into some games, let's try this card out to see what it has to offer. Okay, so for Bahabek's debut, and by the way, I hope I'm getting his name right, I looked up a few goals of his online and that's what the commentary team were saying, so that's what I'm going with. Um, on his debut for us, we come up against a full La Liga side which features many, many special items. Bahabek links up with Ben Yedda, Ben Yedda puts it around. What a chance now. We don't have the option of the Magidi spin, unfortunately, because he's only got the free star skills. Suzuka finds the hard back. Oh, nice pass. Benyedic. Oh, I messed that up. Chance, can we open up some space? Gets the shot away, and that's gone in. A very powerful strike there, out of the reach of the goalkeeper. And just after 10 minutes, on debut, he's got himself a goal. Chance to break now. Here is Benyedic. He's going to get the ball through to Bahabek, who should be able to outpace Sydney quite easily. And he's doing exactly that. We're going to go for the near post and we're not going to miss. We're going to make it 2-0. And now we've got quite a comfortable lead. 
And after that goal, my opponent has decided it is game over for him. So two goals on debut for the Frenchman. Pretty good first outing, to be honest, especially that second goal um, where he showed off his pace and finishing ability on the counter. In our next outing, we come up against this. It's a near full French side which features some really good players. He's got Kante, Infant Benyeda, Mbappé and even a Neymar on the wing. There's a chance Bahavec puts on a through ball out wide for Dembele and he will get on the end of that. He'll whip the ball in but unfortunately Stegen's all over that. Still going. Ball's played through for Dembele. He's going to get it through and a chance for Ben Yedder. Oh, chance on the rebound. And Bahavec gives us the one goal lead despite being under pressure for like nearly the full first 15 minutes of the game. On the counter attack once more. We've uh, taken full advantage. I've come through. Oh, Bahabek's beating his man. Oh, I just couldn't get a shot across the opportunity. Dembele gets the ball to the Frenchman. Who's going to bring the ball back inside, but the pass just didn't actually go where I wanted it to. There's a chance. Dembele, can he find the right through ball? That's a great run, and that's a great... Oh, I was going to say great goal. Okay, at half time, the score is one goal apiece. Um, pretty end-to-end -end first half, to be honest. My opponent's probably had... Um, the better of the chances overall though but hopefully in the second half we can uh, turn this game around and uh, go on to get the win oh nice back heel Benyeda returns the favour chance on the finesse but uh, not enough whip on it and Sagan makes the stop Benyeda oh Guardiola fans Bahabek who takes, it, takes the chance puts it in with his left foot on the spin and we now have a lead once more chance is Benyeda who holds up play really well now here's a chance can he get through Marcel is coming across and is going to shove him off the ball. Bingeda. Oh, nice ball. Chance to make it free. And that's a nice finish. That's a great goal as well. Bingeda and Bahabek just linking up really well. Don't know what we're looking at right now. Oh, there we go. It's fixed. <laughs> really nice run there. Just peeling off the back of the defender to get into space. Bingeda found him perfectly. And then the finesse ends up in the back of the net. Mind. Oh, what a ball that is from Dembele. We take off the shot. But unfortunately, to Sagan saves. Benyeda pings the ball out wide. Here's Martial, who's going to try and find Bahabek with the through ball. Oh, we've gone for it. Can we get the rebound? We can! As if that's gone in. As if. Another really good run from the French forward, getting onto the end of a pass. Like I said, when we was doing the stats, I was, I was very worried about this guy's positioning and wear crates. But um, so far, he's shown them to not be an issue at all. Chance. Oh, can he get on the end of that? He's going to, you know. Oh, that would have been a great way to get a fifth. And there's the full-time whistle. And the French forward, Bahabek, has claimed the match ball. And he deserves it, you know. He was, he positioned himself really well in that second half and got quite a few goals. Four goals in game number two from him. That is really impressive. And, yeah, very happy with his performances thus far. Uh, the first 45 minutes in this game was super tight. So I was pretty worried about what the second half was going to bring. But um, we just took full control and took every chance we had. So very happy with the performance in that game. So after a few more games with the French forward in my team, what are my thoughts on this League SBC item? Um, pretty good card. Pretty good card. Had a lot of fun using this guy. And uh, he definitely surprised me in some areas of his game as well, which obviously is definitely good to hear. So uh, let's just break things down, shall we? And um, the guy's got pretty good pace, as we already knew. Um, definitely can break away from defenders, which is nice. Um, he can be caught by some of the faster ones, but, you know, that's just how FIFA 20 works. There's a, there's a lot of fast defenders um, available at this stage of FIFA 20. So some of them are going to be able to catch him up, but luckily this guy does have good strength, so he can hold some of them off the ball. Not all of them, though. Obviously, some of them do have uh, ridiculous strength as well as pace. But um, anyway, overall, his pace was uh, pretty solid. Um, in front of goal, also really don't have too many complaints. I thought his shot power was brilliant. He is great for them near post shots and the cross goal shots. Was very happy with that. His finesse shots are alright, but I thought his uh, power shots were uh, much more effective. But he finishes well in game, which is nice, both with his left and right foot, which is obviously a positive. Now, his left foot isn't like super clinical, but it's a four star weak foot and it's, uh, it's decent. It's an option if you are being forced onto his left. Um, his positioning, now this is something I want to discuss because, like I said numerous times throughout this video, that was something I was worried about after seeing this guy's um, wear crates and in-game rating, but 
his positioning for me was absolutely fine. Um, he just makes some really good um, effective runs in game and uh, gets onto a lot of through balls. So I was very happy with him in that department, despite what the uh, stats do say. What I will say is he's not the quickest to sometimes get involved in attacks, but when he does get involved, um, he can be absolutely lethal. And you saw that if you watch the clips. Um, his passing for a striker over, overall I thought was very good, um, decent short passing and I also thought his long passing was much better than the in-game stats did indeed suggest. Um, his in-game stat for long passing is just 62 but um, his through balls and like passing over the long distance for me seemed to be fine. I mean it's not super consistent but it definitely didn't seem as bad as that uh, stat number does indeed suggest. Um, his dribbling I thought was very good to be honest, controls the ball really well and for a tallish striker um, he actually felt uh, relatively agile as well which was nice and he controls the ball really well which is definitely something that helps out. Um, so very happy with his in-game dribbling ability. And then finally we come on to the physical stats which I really didn't have a problem with any of them either. He's got good enough strength to battle, high enough aggression to want to battle and he didn't seem to tire too much despite only having 80 stamina as well. And with him having 83 jumping he also won uh, a decent amount of aerial battles. So um, overall... I don't really have many negative things to say about this card, to be honest. I thought it was really freaking good, and uh, it performed to a much higher standard than I thought it actually would. Now, let me just bring up the price of the SBC on Footbin, because I currently don't actually know uh, what this card costs. Now, according to Footbin, at the time of recording, on PS4, the SBC to get this guy costs 74k, but on Xbox, it's 147k, and then on PC, it's 250k. So, um, then prices are a bit all over the place. Um, so what I will say is, even at 150k, I don't think this card's bad value for money at all. I thought it was really good, and I thought it performed um, better than its 85 overall rating suggests. So I was uh, pretty happy with the performance of this item. And if you can get it for around 100k, I think you're getting yourself a pretty good friend forward for that price, to be honest. Obviously, the packs that you get back for completing uh, the Dutch League SBC aren't anything too special. Most of them are silver, sadly, uh, so you won't recoup too many coins. But... Uh, Nonetheless, if you can get this card cheap enough, I think it actually might be good value for you. But uh, Team of the Year is around the corner, so do you want to submit that many coins into an untradeable at this stage of FIFA? I guess that's up to you. But uh, nonetheless, in my opinion, I think this is a pretty good French striker option. He's got really good pace, good shooting stats, good dribbling, and he's a fun player to use. So uh, as I said, I think this card's good value. As long as you don't end up paying like a ridiculous price. If those prices are accurate, then I think that's good value. But if they're not, then... Obviously, don't pay too much more than that. Um, anyway, guys, we're coming towards the end of the video now. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. In the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts on this card. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.